Hello, everybody. We're going through the Mass, and we're getting to the end, folks, of, our, uh, of, of Easter, which means the end of the Mass as well, as, uh, as we've been going through for the last 90 or so days. And uh, today we're, we're at the... I just wanted to do a little video on spiritual communion. Uh, a spiritual communion is what a prayer that you pray when you are not able to receive our Lord in the sacrament. Um, why would you not be able to receive the Lord in the sacrament? Uh, number one, homebound people, uh, people who are ill, people who are in nursing homes, assisted living facilities, there, and people who are in the hospital, people who are, are not well, um, cannot obviously receive our Lord in the sacrament on, at, during the Mass. Um, but they like to watch the Mass. And that's really why we live stream the Masses and send them out is because um, it's for the people who cannot come to Mass. Sometimes people say, Father, I just love that I can watch you. And I don't, and, it's, and, and, and uh, on a Sunday, if, I, if I'm not, you know, uh, wanting to go to church, it's like, what, what, no. Like, if you're able to go, you got to go. You get to go. Praise the Lord, you get to go. People in Africa will walk two miles or two hours to get to Mass. And so we just have to get in our cars. So we're pretty blessed, aren't we? You know, and, um, but it's just one of those things. And, and, and so the, the live stream, if you're able to go to Mass, but you just want to sleep in, or if you're able to go to Mass, you're on vacation, out of state, well, go to the nearest church. You know, if you're tired and suck it up, go to Mass. You know, it's good for you and important for your soul. And so um, the live stream, again, is for those who are homebound or ill, unable to be here. Um, it's also a person would make a spiritual, and the, as a person would make the, a spiritual communion if the person is not in a state of grace, not able to receive our Lord, but of course still at Mass, um, because regardless of if you are able to receive communion or not, you still are bound to come to Mass and get to come to Mass. Uh, it is still a precept of the church and a commandment of the Lord, uh, commandment number three. And so um, you still would be here, but let's say, you know, for example, you, you drank way too much the night before. Um, well, that was one of the seven deadly sins, and you need to go to confession. You would not go to communion. You would make, you would make a sign, of the, uh, do this with, and, and um, receive a prayer of blessing. Say you missed a holy day of obligation mass that was on a Tuesday, or you missed a mass one weekend. God forbid. Um, then you are not in a state of grace. You need to go to confession before you can receive communion again. So if you're not able to go to confession before the mass, then you would go like this. Um, all sorts of examples, any of the seven deadly sins, any of the Ten Commandments that are done willfully, knowing that they're wrong, we choose them anyway, uh, that is a mortal sin. And you can't receive communion because by our, by our sin we have cut ourselves off from God's grace and, and the sacrament. And so that, uh, that person also would make a, an act of spiritual communion. Here's how it goes. There's several different options. And on the live stream, they're, they're put on the comment section there. Um, it, but here's an example from, this one is from San Alphonsus Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou were already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Just this prayer of desire to be at one with the Lord and uh, beautiful thing, beautiful tradition of our church. Um, I just would add, it's interesting in, uh, in, in many, most parts of the world, at communion time, there, we, they don't do lines like we do. I mean, there, you still have two lines in the middle, but you don't like go pew by pew by pew by pew by pew because... Um, there's an understanding that I'm not able to receive communion, so I'm going to stay in my seat, but like others may go walk over you or walk over. And there's just like, at communion, there are no ushers going up and down the aisles. It's just whoever can receive goes into the aisle and, and they wait, make their way forward. Um, and for us, because we like to do things in an organized way, um, it's probably our German heritage, um, the, the lines, we like lines, you know. 
and, and order. And, and so we have ways of doing that. And so that's why now everybody just kind of goes. But if, again, it's, it's important to say like, if I'm not able to receive, I should go like this. And if people ask you why you did it, you say, because I need to go to confession. Talk about a powerful witness. That is a very powerful witness of faithfulness, humility, and a desire to be a saint and not to sacrilege, commit a sacrilege in receiving when you shouldn't. So God bless us. We are good. We are so blessed by our Eucharistic Lord. Thank you. God bless.